21%. Siskiyou County is also at 21%. And the high desert Modoc is slightly lower at about 16.8%. With Apple's iPad 2 on its way, we wanted to find out, is it really worth it? KRCR News Channel 7's Jackie Ochoa talked to the experts at Nerds On Call to get the scoop. It's not something I would need. It's just a superior experience. Hmm. It seems the experts at Nerds On Call disagree about whether Apple's new iPad 2 is worth forking over anywhere from 499 to 829 bucks. Get out of here so we can go to... Nerds On Call is a computer fix-it company based in Reading. Since the iPad 2 isn't due to hit the market until March 11th, Andrea Eldridge, the president of Nerds On Call, used Apple's first-generation tablet to show me what this puppy can do. It's pretty cool that you can actually see the New York Times in real time. Both Kevin and Andrea agree it's a snazzy device, and the iPad 2 will have a camera, which this one doesn't have. It will also be lighter and faster. You just launch your application, click on weeknight dinners, there you go. You However, they say a downside is that it's not as powerful as a computer. You can get a lot more functionality of a lap out of a laptop. Um, you're going to be able to do a lot more with the laptop. You're going to be able to do it easier. But watching movies, using applications, and typing is a lot easier than a phone. You can absolutely have an iPad replace that functionality, and it'll be lighter, easier. That is, Andrea says, if you're not planning on using the iPad for business. A lot of Word and Excel and more business functionality. It's really going to be more of a supplemental entertainment device. They're fun to play with, but they're basically an oversized eye touch. Nevertheless, Photo. they can't help but admit it's definitely fun. But should fun and entertainment cost hundreds of dollars? I will not get one, uh, only because I can't afford it. The iPad 2 won't have a USB port. Andrea says this won't pose a problem for people who only use Apple products, but will for those who don't. You're getting a lot of competition from like the Android market for the first year. Andrea's actually outpaced iPhones in sales, so um, they're getting competition. I think that hopefully that'll push them to be more um, cross-interface in the future. Jackie Ochoa, CareCR News Channel 7. We also found out that the launch of the iPad 2 also means the first generation is getting marked down. So if you can handle not having the latest version, you could snag an iPad for as low as 399 bucks. Well, how would you like your office to be inside the beautiful Whiskey Town area? Well, you're in luck. The Whiskey Town National Recreation Area is looking for volunteers. With Apple's iPad 2 on its way, we wanted to find out, is it really worth it? We visited Nerds On Call, a computer fix-it company based in Reading. Since the iPad 2 isn't due to hit the market until March 11, 11th, Andrea Eldridge, the president of Nerds On Call, used Apple's first-generation tablet to show us what it can do. However, they say a downside is that it's not as powerful as a computer. But watching movies, using applications, and typing is a lot easier than a phone. You can get a lot more functionality of a lap out of a laptop. Um, you're going to be able to do a lot more with the laptop. You're going to be able to do it easier. A lot of Word and Excel and more business functionality. It's really going to be more of a supplemental entertainment device. The iPad 2 won't have a USB port, and Andrea says this will, won't pose a problem for people who only use Apple products, but will for those who don't. Well, the rain started to come down a little bit tonight. Rob, 